This is a review of the Smooth Navy and Cream Suede Aspinall of London Billfold. I just got this wallet a few days ago. Uh, as you can see, it's a deep navy color. It's pretty close to like a, a slate gray. It really depends on how colorblind you are, I'd say. Uh, as you can see, it's embossed there with the Aspinall logo. And it's got even navy stitches as well. The leather feels very smooth and it smells very nice. Here's the inside that you can see. I'd say the quality of this wallet is just like absolutely impeccable, especially when you consider how in relatively inexpensive it is for, for other wallets, like a, a Gucci wallet or a Louis Vuitton wallet can easily go like four or five, even $600. And this I got on sale for $111. And the workmanship and materials are just, you know, across the board, completely, like, uh, I, they couldn't have possibly used anything better. As you can see in here, this is the bill compartment. It's lined in suede. Uh, and this little divider here is also suede and the same really smooth, supple leather with the same perfect, even stitches all the way through. All the other compartments are lined in silk, so that includes in the bill areas, let's see if I can, you can see in there, that is silk, and notably in this coin pouch here, which is branded down there, Aspinall of London. You can kind of see the leather texturing, let's see if I can focus on that. Mm, yeah, there we go. And you can see some up close of the stitches. Really excellent coloring on this wallet. The coloring um, is Part of the reason that I bought it, and I was just, because I mean, it's just such a beautiful, you know, it, it's not very, it's not a very snobbish wallet. Uh, it's, it's very modern, but still elegant and refined. Yeah, into the, into the coin pouch here. Let me do this, sorry. It's not very hard to undo. I made it look a little bit harder than it is. You just pop it open. And then in here, I don't have anything in the wallet right now. You can see more of that beautiful silk. It's got a specific pattern that I, that I also see on silk in leather-bound books for end papers. Um, let's see, I've got some behind. Uh, we'll use fathers and sons. This is a leather-bound book that I have from the Easton Press, and you can see the silk has that really long kind of wood grain looking effect. The exact same thing is happening with the silk in here. I just don't know if you can see it super well. The feel of this wallet is just absolutely impeccable. Um, really smooth, supple, but it still has some, some body, um, some 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 strength. It doesn't feel like it's gonna like like bend or you know like fall apart after I use it a few times. Uh, it feels like it'll hold up really well. There's some side profile. It is a thick wallet because of the the coin pouch automatically makes it a thick wallet. And then if you use it to hold coins, it'll be even more thick. Um, I don't have any bills in there right now, as you saw. And this suede here, I forgot to mention, is so soft. And this leather is so supple. So supple is not a very good way to, to describe anything. It's very supple, it's soft, it's luxurious, it's everything that you could ask for. And like I said, the stitching, which is something that I had a problem with on my Aspinall Messenger bag, um, on most parts, the stitching was impeccable, and then on the underside of the strap, it was like really terrible. Um, but that bag is pretty old now, so I don't hold that against them. That bag is like six years old. So I, I, uh, I was pretty disheartened because I was looking to get this wallet for a while, and eventually it said discontinued on the Aspinall website. So I was worried that uh, I was like never going to get to buy it. Um, 
which would have been a shame. However, it popped up with like four in stock or so, you know, some other like really low number. And I, uh, I just had to, you know, I had to, I had to pounce on that. And it was on top of everything, it was also on sale. So there's just no way I could say no. You get an extra compartment up here, which also, of course, lined in silk. And under there, which I'm not going to pull too hard on. And under here as well. There's the, let me see if I can show you the pore structure there of the leather. Like everything on this wallet is done to the, you know, to the utmost degree, you know, it's, it's completely perfect. I cannot fault this wallet. The only thing, and I literally don't, I could not possibly care less, is it's not perfectly aligned on the bottom, which, you know, so what? There you go. As you can see, that's not totally straight. Um, literally, I think that's just about the most unimportant thing ever. And from the top, it's perfect. So I'm not worried whatsoever. That's something I noticed. It took me a while to notice because it's just so completely unimportant. Um, so yeah, so I'd really recommend this wallet. I think it's going to hold up you know, fantastically, and it's got so much better bang for your buck than Louis Vuitton or Gucci, and, you know, I've seen Louis Vuitton's wallets, you know, cracking. One of my friends has one of their phone cases, and right at, you know, at the at the seam here, where it, uh, not the seam, the, the, I don't know, the vertex, where it folds, um, that got cracked after less than a year, and there's nothing you can really do about the cracking, so I'm wary of Louis Vuitton. So I was shopping for wallets, and this just was the clear winner to me. I mean, it looks beautiful. It's made beautifully. You know, it, it, it'll... What more could you possibly ask for? It, you know, it, it fits plenty of cards. You, let's see, one, two, three, and you got four, five, six card slots. And then, of course, you can stick multiples in here. So, I mean, really, you've got as many card slots as you need. Once again, just a little quick peep in there. Beautiful, beautiful wallet. There you go, that's how it looks like that. Once again, absolutely recommend this. Very happy with this purchase. I'll post a one year update. And so soft. All right, that is all. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you consider Aspinall of London.